All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Hot, and I'm so happy to be here right after the Alaves 1, Real Madrid 4. Excellent game. I mean, it was the best way to start the season. Everybody was expecting for Real Madrid to perform this good. It is the best way you can ever start and you can ever begin a season because, of course, Alaves is always a very tough game, very, very hard rival. And today, it, they, I mean, they show that. I mean, in the first 45 minutes where we could see, it was a team, Alaves, trying to overrun again Real Madrid. And actually, the pressure was so high. They were super intense. They were super focused. And, of course, Real Madrid was completely lost again. I mean, you have to understand that for us, this game against Alaves, it was pretty much kind of, you know, another preseason game. You can't say this is another or this is a game from La Liga because actually we only had two games, two friendly games in the preseason. So it was not enough. And Alaves had about seven games before this game. So they were more concentrated. They, they were more focused on the game. And what we saw in the first 45 minutes was the Alaves overrunning to Real Madrid. But of course, Real Madrid again uh, got rid of the pressure of Alaves. And then in the second half, it was a completely different story. I mean, as you could see, again, Karim Benzema is the best player that we have in the squad. To me, Karim Benzema is by far the arguably the best player in Real Madrid right now. He's in a great shape. And of course, with these two goals, he's showing everybody that he is a great striker. Maybe they get the best striker we have had uh, since the departure of Cristiano Ronaldo. And today was not the day to say, okay, it was a brilliant game because we played incredible good. I mean, we didn't. I mean, actually, what I saw in the first 45 minutes, I... I was not okay with the circulation of the ball because what I could see from my point of view, it was a bunch of players trying to do the same stuff they they normally tried with Zinedine Zidane the last two years, you know, trying to circulate the ball in the with a lot of safety passes, you know, passing the ball sideways, trying to move the ball all around over and over again without finding the right spots, without breaking the defense, without, you know, finding the gaps and things like that actually was Alaves who was more you know intense finding the our backs all the time uh, overturning Real Madrid all the time so to me it was Alaves the one who really succeed in the first 45 minutes but Real Madrid is always Real Madrid and you have to keep in mind every time we have a little tense we can create a lot of danger and of course today it was the day and we prove everybody that we are that way I mean in the second half with the first goal of, of Karim Benzema I knew I pretty much knew that it was okay for Real Madrid because all the intensity, all the pressure from Alaves magically disappeared in the second 45 minutes. And what we saw was Real Madrid going through the defense, finding the gaps, finding the right spots uh, to fight the ball into. And of course, moving forward as I wanted for Real Madrid to do every single time. I mean, to me, if you ask to me, I prefer a more vertical team, right? I prefer a more sharper players uh, for example if you have to guard Bale you can pass the ball with the uh, long balls you know with Tony Cruz long balls I mean the problem is Tony Cruz is not here right but if you have Tony Cruz you can take advantage from his long ball uh, perfection and then you can just do guard Bale you know running all the way to the rival area you can also use to David Alaba who played incredibly good I really like it he assisted to Vinicius Jr. in the fourth goal he's a player who is able to go and make the run upwards but at the same time he can close when he has to drop back he can close really quick and he didn't have so many errors I mean actually he actually probably had maybe one mistake or something like that but it's pretty understandable when you are all the time trying to connect and sometimes he was playing even uh, in more interior positions not only attacking positions but also interior positions which is good of course because was connecting or trying to connect all the time with Hazard but to me I mean defensive wise he was pretty much incredible so he did pretty much everything very good so I like it really I mean I I love uh, uh, David Alaba. He did an incredible performance. That is David Alaba. But also we could see another outstanding player who is Fede Valverde. This guy, if you saw the third goal, 
what a run, man. He grabbed the ball in our side and he carried up the ball all the way to the rival area. I mean, going and getting away from the defenders. And of course, he was just nuts. I mean, it was incredible. And then Benzema scored the second goal. But to me, that would have been even better if we... Uh, had seen to Fede Valverde score in the first goal because he really deserved that goal. But overall speaking, it was a very good game. It, it is the best way to start the uh, season. It is the best way for Real Madrid to gain some more confidence and feel better towards the next weekend, of course. And we still have to work on some different aspects, you know, because I think that at some point we were kind of misplaced. We had players a little bit misplaced, yeah, like, you know, like spread out, but with no organization at all. So to me, we still have to work on that stuff. And of, of course, what I would like to see is a more vertical team, sharper and trying to shoot on target a little bit more often. But Overall speaking, for the most part, we did a great job. It was a very good performance. And of course, I hope we still win in the next weekend uh, in the second in the second match day. So we'll see what happens. But for now, I think we are in the top of the standings. And very good game, guys. Congratulations. It was such a very good performance.